Hello, shiny friend. I'm so glad that you are here today. I hope wherever you are or whatever you are creating, you see the beauty of rest and reflection guiding you through the process so that you are a shining light for the people among you. Your guidance and showing up is the true leading someone behind you needs. It's 47 here today, currently. It will reach the highest of 72. Spring and nice days away from winter is definitely here. Minus the long days of rain. We've had a lot of those recently. I know, I know. It's wonderful for the outdoor stuff like trees, flowers, lakes, bugs, wildlife, and more. Before filming this video, my heart was leaning towards writing scriptures on pieces of paper that you, you know, kind of see here floating around that I will be testing out in this journal from time to time. Pieces of paper like that. I wanted to write scriptures on those pieces of paper. I read the night before and some of those scriptures, I felt like uh, being led to share those with you and me in this journal. Only when I sat down to film this, my mind couldn't focus. I do that sometimes, you know, like once a month. So I rerouted and had a heyday picking, sorting, gluing, and more randomly in this journal. A lot of times in my journals, I work page by page before going on to the next, meaning like thinking I have to have that certain page finished before I can go any further within the journal. Having no boundaries to skip around was so freeing and just what my heart needed in the moment. Have you ever had to do that where your plan shifted and you rolled with it? Although I did feel defeated for a split second, I still embraced what the Lord was doing. Meaning, I went from writing the scriptures to rerouting all together of just randomly gluing pieces of paper in this journal wasn't what all I planned and I have to remind myself that it's his plans not mine and feeling defeated for a split second you know I felt like the enemy was attacking and you know rightly so we might could say but I wasn't even giving him room to even say that he was still in among this day I just left it as still embracing what the Lord was doing for me you may notice me stumbling a little at the first of this video where you see me putting the glitter pieces back in the box. I literally turned from my seat to grab something and knocked the box off in the trash can. I was able to save a good bit of it. Then you'll notice the amount of time I spent placing things in the journal and shifting them around before settling for glue. I just couldn't get it together, but I kept rolling. A day or two later, I was at another soccer event, two hours away, came home with an injured player. We visit the urgent care on that Saturday, and now we have a broken finger. Ouch. Speedy recovery as, the, as this begins off season. Can you believe I've uploaded and filmed 12 videos this year? That's two months of Mondays, and today's will be the 13th. Oh, and remember, remember, several videos back, I talked about going to market, you know, art market, and was preparing. Well, a few short weeks later, I got word the market wasn't going to take place. So, pooey. I slowed my role on production. And outside of journaling and filming, my time in studio has been working on the big canvas on my easel. Outside the studio, I've been cleaning out some things in my home, like cabinets, drawers, even the attic. Wherever my heart leads, I recently brought things home from my grandfather's and letting go of things of my own that no longer serve me or my family to make room for things of his I just don't want to let go of that I want to hold on to. 
it's a lot. It's been a lot going through his things, but boy, when it puts things into perspective to get your own stuff cleaned out so someone else doesn't have to or have so much to do. I remember helping my mother this way years ago when she moved from the house she raised me and my sister in and lived with my dad since the day they had married. She had a lot of stuff. That move was 20 years ago. It taught me not to keep and to clean stuff out. Yet my granddad's was a refresher course and showed me just how bad I failed, failed behind here, like five years behind. That's, that's all good. I'm going to keep working. As I close out today, I want to share with you a verse verbally to encourage and strengthen your faith and mine guiding us in strength, wisdom, and a boost of passion. I can endure all things through the power of the one who gives me strength. Philippians 4.13 Oh, what a reminder of the one who provides our strength. We can get so caught up in the hustle and bustle of life and actually forget, you know, like forget to acknowledge where our strength does come from and when we do that when we stop and acknowledge I feel like it gives us so much more peace and release and just freedom I'm glad you are here today I'm going to close out here and let you finish watching this process as I keep sorting and gluing I'll see you next Monday if you make it to the end of this video comment 413.